a lot led up to becoming an artistic director. 20 years or so of professional performing um, and 15 years of uh, middle management, if you want to call it, uh, being a ballet master or associate director. But when I came to Kansas City Ballet, you know, it's kind of the proverbial, the buck stops at the desk. Well, it's the artistic product stops at my desk. Um, so I've learned how wonderful it is to go on that adventure with audience members over the years that have, you know, enjoyed a lot of works that I've presented in the past five years or so that I've been here now. Um, and, you know, I care about them and I want them to have a great time every time they sit in their seat and the lights go out and the curtain goes up. I really want them genuinely to enjoy themselves. And the other side of that is what's behind the curtain. Our company has 30 professionals and 15 second company members, so that's 45 individuals that I'm responsible for, for their careers. That's a lot, you know. I make decisions that affect their careers. And in this business, particularly in the dance business, ballet world, the career is extremely short, unlike a symphonic musician or an operatic singer. <clears throat> You know, a dancer has, mm, you know, a, a, a good career is 15 years and you're done of professional experiences. So uh, the time on stage is brief and sweet and um, precious.